to show you what I'm doing for my Bible study. I first, I found this really good YouTube playlist that I just have playing in the background. I will link it down in the description for you, but it's really good. Um, but for my, oh, let me show you my screensaver. Isn't that cute? I got that from Pinterest. I change my screensaver every, or it's actually my background. It's not my screensaver. I change my background every month um, with the seasons and the holidays and stuff. But So I'm doing um, a Lifeway Bible study. It's called When You Pray. It's an ebook. There's also videos that I purchased. So every week, um, at the end of the week, there's a video. But today's lesson um, is from 1 Samuel. And today we're just doing chapter one, um, and we're talking about God's sovereignty and suffering. And I just thought I would share, um, these passages are really good. Um, Job 5.18, Lamentations, Deuteronomy, and Amos, um, about how God um, is in control. And the question was, when you think about God being sovereign over suffering, what are the feelings and thoughts that come to mind? Be honest. And I wrote, I'm comforted in knowing that even the hurts and hardships of my life in the world around me is directed by my loving and wise God. He knows what is happening and why. If it was left by chance or evil was in power, life would be scary and uncertain. And I would definitely have anxiety. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd show that because it comforted me this morning. And I've just started my Bible sitting. I still have a lot more to do, but just want to share that little tidbit. So I decided since today I have to pay my bills, I might as well share with you the budget planner I'm currently using. This is a Clever Fox budget planner. It comes with examples of how to use each of the pages. So, cause there's a lot of different options, but this way you don't feel overwhelmed. Like how do I use this page? It's very helpful. Although I didn't use a lot of the features of this like I should have. But in the very beginning, you have like yearly goals, um, all the different kind of pages and how you're gonna break down your goals and action steps, important dates, um, and then it gets into the monthly. So it's got like a yearly overview goals. We're gonna skip over the pages I've been using. And then this is what each month looks like. So you have your monthly budget review of the previous month, how much you spent, what were your wins? What do you need to improve on? Any ideas and notes for the next month's budget? Um, then each, first of all, it's not dated, which I love because I don't budget every month. So I can reuse pages and just keep going with empty pages. I don't feel pressured to keep up with it. <clears throat> um, you put the month year, your goals, your checklist, your income, your savings. The calendar is blank again so that you can add it as you want and just put like your paydays when you have bills due, that kind of thing. Um, and then you can break down your monthly budget by expenses and plenty of space to add your own. So this is very helpful if you don't know where to begin. And then there's a bunch of expense trackers, which I basically use these when um, every month when I'm paying my bills, I just sit down and start listing out uh, kind of like a checkbook register. And then it keeps repeating for all of the months. And then at the back of the book, um, it has trackers for savings and you can pick the different things of what you're saving for and tracking. Um, there's a few of those. There's some debt trackers. Um, some holiday budget planning and spending and gifts. And then I'm gonna skip the next page, but this is basically like your monthly for the 12 months. You list out all of your, um, it's a bill tracker, that's what it is. And you just basically check off and put the amounts that you paid each month for all of your bills that were due. 
Then you have a summary of the year and you can keep track of how your monthly expenses went for the year. This is for 12 months. And then there's a check register in the back, which I don't really use. And then you have account information pages. There are some blank bullet pages, which I make like little notes of different things throughout the year. There's also stickers. I didn't end up using the stickers really. I used maybe a few, I think. Yeah, I used a few, but I didn't really use the stickers too much, but it does come with stickers. If you're a real budgeting fanatic and you like to budget, I'm horrible at it. And then there's a little envelope in the back that you could stick you know, monthly receipts or um, bills that come in the mail. But yeah, this is the budget planner that I've been using. Um, mostly I'm using it just to pay my bills every month and to keep track of that because I didn't utilize it like I should. But maybe this year, maybe this year I'll do it.
I have so many purses and not enough space, so I'm cleaning out um, and organizing my purses and stuff. Oh. And I think I'm going to actually purge. I'm just going to get rid of a few purses as well. Because this is too many. I don't even use most of these purses. So, that's another project. And hats. I'm cleaning cleaning out my stock of hats as well. Because I don't... I'm not much of a hat person. I want to be. But I don't really wear hats. So there's no point in keeping a bunch of hats. 